Yo, what is up guys? SCJ here, back with another video. And after last night's first preseason action of the NBA 2020 to 2021 season, I want to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers and how they might finally have what they've needed and what they've been lacking. So this is a video I could have made at the start of free agency, but I wanted to wait till the preseason or regular season games began. And what I'm talking about the Lakers previously lacking was a legit bench or legit help for LeBron and Anthony Davis. Last season when I was watching the Lakers, it felt like the team was LeBron and Anthony Davis doing 90% of the things the Lakers needed in order to win games. And then you had a few decent or good players helping the team with everything else. Now don't get it twisted, Rondo and Dwight Howard did step up for LA in the playoffs and the Lakers would typically get a solid performance out of either KCP or Kuzma on a game-to-game -game basis, but if you look at the playoff per game stats right here, you could tell the Lakers really were lacking the necessary depth and help that they needed around LeBron and AD, and that brings me to my next point, and that is with the Lakers having the shortest offseason of any team in sports history and LeBron turning 36th on December 30th, they needed players they could rely on when they have to lower LeBron's minute load or just simply rest him. So with LeBron turning 36 years old in a few weeks like I just mentioned, and even though he hasn't seemed to be affected by father time despite how he's getting up there in age, the guy simply won't be able to play at the level he does forever, and none of us can really say we know how much more he's got left in the tank. With the offseason being just 72 days and LeBron turning 36 8 days into the start of the 2020 to 2021 NBA season and the start of the season for the Lakers, one has to wonder how much the effects of this will really have on the man's body and that's why a great supporting cast really was necessary for the Lakers to add. In terms of how the group the Lakers sent out there last night looked, I'd say they impressed despite the fact it's only the preseason. Looking at the numbers for the Clippers here, you can see they really didn't play their starters much at all, and both Kawhi and PG only played 14 minutes and 13 seconds. But offensively, the Clippers starters all pretty much struggled with how well the Lakers defended them when they were on the court. Ibaka was the only one for the Clippers who didn't look bad as he was 2 for 3 on the night, knocking down 2 of the 3 triples that he attempted. For the Lakers though, they almost had all five of the players they started score double digit point totals and they primarily only went with a rotation of eight guys as Caruso only saw 10 minutes of action last night. The only flaw you could point out for the Lakers and their performance from last night would have to be how poor they shot the ball as they collectively shot 30 for 84 finishing the game with a percentage of 35.7% shooting on the night. Even with that though, the group that the Lakers started the game with was responsible for 68 of the 87 points they would end up scoring in the game. A few other things you gotta remember too is that they did this without their most important players as LeBron and Anthony Davis did not suit up for last night's preseason game. You also had important or key players from last year's championship run not suit up as well as KCP and Marquise Morris didn't participate in last night's win against the Clippers. That isn't even everybody though, as one of their big free agency signings, Marcus Gasol, did not play in last night's contest as well. So five players who will have important roles in the rotation for the Lakers this season didn't participate and the rest of the team was still able to get things done out there. The other things I'll mention before I wrap things up is I totally understand with the fact that it's the preseason, how poor the Lakers shot, as well as the group of guys that the Clippers sent out there last night, that many people aren't impressed with this win for the Lakers, but I think you have to remember the Lakers didn't have their two best players and two guys who were top 10 players in the league, yet they still were able to get the job done despite their poor shooting and other things. So while they didn't face top players for the majority of the game and they also shot poorly, I think the fact that they still got it done regardless is relevant relatively impressive. The other thing and the last thing is the effect that these new additions can have on the rest of their bench players and roster. It felt like last year there was pressure on guys such as KCP, Kuzma, and Caruso for example, but with the additions of Dennis Schroeder, Montrez Harrell, Wesley Matthews, and Mark Soule, it almost definitely will not only help LeBron and AD, but also the players who were pressured last year and help them get better looks and play better when the Lakers have their complete roster and team out there during the regular season. So despite it only being the preseason, as well as some of the other criticisms you can give the Lakers that I named before, such as the team they faced and the Lakers poor shooting, the group the Lakers sent out there last night still persevered and won with good scoring despite bad shooting, as well as a very good defensive performance from their guys. I want to know though what you guys think of this new Lakers supporting cast and how you felt about their preseason win last night against the Clippers. Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway though guys, that's going to be it for me today. 
But if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you want to see more NBA content and breakdowns like this video or any of my other ones, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with my newest uploads and videos as soon as they go live. And with the season starting up, I'll definitely have a good amount of content uploaded soon. Anyway though guys, I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.